Just because you've got a small space doesn't mean you can't have a garden, and I think this is the perfect spot to go vertical. Now, it would cost an absolute fortune if we were to cover this in plants wall to wall, but I've got a better idea that's a little bit more designer, and it's going to cost a fraction of the price. Like I said, I don't want to spend a fortune, but I do want this to look really special. So I'm starting with a vertical garden DIY kit. Now, these have got everything you need, but we're working with a really unique space, so I want to make something pretty special. So I'm going to build a box around our frames. That's going to hide them as I mount them on the wall. And I'm using this. This is H3 pre-primed timber. It's totally fine to be outside, but I'm going to give it a lick of paint just to give it another layer of protection. Now, I'm going for black, one, because it ties in nicely with our plastic boxes. And when the paint is dry, we can trim them to match the size of our plastic modules. with our frame set up like this. I'm now going to glue it and screw it together. And you can see I can fit two of our green wall kits in here, and that's the whole beauty about this process. You can make it as large or as small as you like. The next step is to get our DIY kits and fit them to the frame. Ah, oh, perfect measurements. Now, I'm just going to screw these into the reveal, and you really need to make sure you don't hit any of the irrigation, otherwise you'll spring a leak. But simple screw should tack it in. With the timber cut for our box, I'm moving on to the fancy part around the outside. Now, I don't just want to use our plain pre-primed on that. I'm using something that's going to look a little bit nicer. This is just an architrave, normally used around doors or skirting boards. It's tassie oak, so it is fine outside. I am going to give it a lick of paint again for a bit more protection. And I'm just cutting it on a 45 degree angle. That way, it's going to look like a nice picture frame around our greenery. Now, if you've got a drop saw, you can use that. But if you don't have a drop saw, you just use a mitre box like this. It's really simple. It works out all the angles for you. Yes. So with this external frame, all I'm going to do is glue the edge. Once that's all set, I'm going to flip it over and to give it some strength, use these brackets. And then just glue and nail it all together. So there you have it. The frame is that simple to make. When you're selecting plants for a green wall, you have to consider the conditions they're growing in. Ours has got filtered light. The Nephrolepis and the Ripsalis both like filtered light, so they're perfect for that. They're also growing in a really small body of soil, so they're not going to have much moisture around. Really important when you're potting up, you put this little plastic bit in the bottom of the pot because that creates a little reservoir in the bottom. Now, most people think these ferns, they like a bit of moisture, but in fact, the Nephrolepis, it can take a lot of drought. It just needs misting. It really is quite simple. All you need to do is paste the plant into the pot. I like to angle mine towards the front so you can really see it. Well, these plants are going to look absolutely incredible in our frames, but because I want this to look like a gallery, I'm going to light these up. And for that, I'll need an electrician. And to make sure our plants stay nice and healthy, I'm going to get a plumber whilst I'm at it too, so I can get some water into the courtyard. Submit job. Oh, 
Hello, chaps. How are we going? Hi, mate. How are you? Thanks, mate. Yeah, good. So, what have we got? New tap in? New tap in. Drain cleaned. Lovely. Lights up. The lights. And strip light in. I'm using the supplied brackets to secure our frames to the wall. I put one screw in in the centre of the brick because it's stronger, and I'm just going to use the level to level it up. Screw that in, and then we can get hanging. Down, down, down. You can create a gallery by adding more frames in different colours. The thing I really like about this system is you can take the pots on and off, so if you don't get it right the first time, you can just keep playing and have some fun with it. We started with a tiny little space and we've completely transformed it into a green oasis that can not only be enjoyed from in the space, but also from within the house. And the addition of lighting means it can be used both day and night. We also put a tap in, which means these plants are gonna live happily ever after.